Hi, this is Crypto Guy in South Africa. So you may be aware that two exchanges opened up yesterday. Basically, it's Gate.io and Upbit. So what I'm going to show you today is how you can create a wallet and then also go to Gate.io and get some Tron and then transfer it to your wallet and then vote with it. So that's what I'm going to be basically showing today. So if I go over here, here's Gate.io. So gate.io, what basically you can create an account. Once you create the account, you are going to be requested to provide some credentials. They call it KYC. It's also no, as known as your customer, but it's fine. You can provide that and then it usually takes up to three days, but you can email them their support and ask them to do it or release it a lot quicker. Because yesterday this happened, you know, that they, they opened their withdrawals and today I'm making this video. I would have made it sooner if I could. So you know, as a new user, you'll come here, you'll say new user sign up. It'll bring you to this screen. You'll sign up here on the left hand side. Now I've already got an account. I've made that already there. So I'm just going to log in. Okay, you've got to enter a capture. Here we can say log in. Two step authentication that you need to do. All right, when you log in the first time or you create an account, it doesn't ask you. But then when you once you've activated it and for you to do any withdrawals, they do ask you to activate it. So you'll have to put it on. Then you can log on. All right, and then we can see here we got deposits and withdrawals. So to do a deposit, it's quite simple. You would go deposit. All right, you would choose what you want to deposit. Now, I've already done my deposit, but what you'll do is you'll say, deposit you'll get a code generator here for you and that will be your wallet the first time it will might take a few seconds before it generates it but once it's done it you take it you copy it and then you transfer over here some ethereum all right then if we go back we can now see that i've got some ethereum and what i'm going to do is then trade it for some trx so what we have to then do is go to the ethereum tab look for trx we go over here now, I don't have a lot of Ethereum, but it's sufficient for us to show on the video. Okay, so the amount of TRX that's obtainable, I can then go get this amount. Because you can see it's obtainable there, at obviously at this ETH price. And then we can say, buy ETH to TRX. And then we're going to say, yes, confirm my order. Then it's going to ask me, a fund pass so basically this is an extra password when you set up it um, when you set it up it basically uh, asks you for that extra password and then you see I've got a notification it looks like my order was already filled so if I go back and I say home or oh, wait uh, wallets let's go back there I already have my Tron okay so that was quite quick quite fast so now let's go to Tronscan because now I need a wallet to send those funds to if I'm going to withdraw it. So let's go over here. So I'm going to go to Tronscan. It is a web wallet. Um, I'm quite familiar with this wallet. You can do quite a lot in here um, to create an account. All you've got to do is say create a wallet. you got to then give it a password. So I always recommend, you know, typing your password in Notepad so you can see it first. Uh, make sure you are comfortable with what it is. And then put it in. You can obviously type it. This is just my habit that I do. And I can go next because then what happens is, you know, when I get to the end, I can always, you know, type it in manually or worst case scenario, look what I had in the notepad. But over here, then we download encrypted key. So that will download. This is another way of accessing your wallets. Don't lose it. This is probably the safer way. You'll access your wallet by choosing that file and then you can go through. Then we say next. Then you can print a paper wallet. So you say print paper wallet and then you've got a copy of it and you can print it if need be. The other thing you can then do is also just copy the private key and save it somewhere. It's critical that you copy this um, and you keep it somewhere safe because if you lose it and you lose the, the file before, you have no ways of getting your funds back. And then I'm going to go next. Then I'm going to say go to account page. All right, so now I've created my wallet. So let me log in. Select file. Choose your file. It'll then ask you the password that you created with. 
tap it in, say okay, well it's unlocked. And then I can say over here, go to account, and you can see I've got zero TRX. I can copy this address, and I can go back to my gate arrow. I can say, let me do a withdraw. I've already sent once to an address here, so I'm gonna do another address because I did a test. There we go. And then I'm gonna go say 753. 26048. I'm going to send all of it. I'll fun password again. Then I've got to do this again. So, again, you just got to make sure you've got that Google Authenticator. We've got 971614. And there we go. My request has been successfully submitted. So if we go back to my balances, my TRX has been withdrawn. Now I can go to Transcan. You'll see that I've got a little alert over here showing that I've already received it. So that was quite fast. There's no delays. I haven't edited the video. And then what I can then do over here is I can then freeze it. So before I can vote, I've got to freeze it. So what you've got to do now is see I've got a balance here so I'm going to freeze that okay and say confirm freeze balance once you freeze it just remember your tokens you don't lose it it's just frozen for three days so you can't withdraw it for three days and if you vote it doesn't cost you anything it doesn't uh, take any funds away from you so then we can go votes then we can say click here to start voting and then you can find your super representative that you want to vote for so you can go through and you'll see there are different people that you can vote for or different teams if you want to call it here here is crypto going za this is me you can right click here and say you know open a link in new tab and you can get an idea of you know what i'm about and all the things that you can see about me but i know already so i'm going to go through that in detail um then I'm going to vote for myself. You can see here on top it says how much remaining. So I'm going to go 753. And then I'm going to say submit votes. And then it'll say thank you for the voting. And then in the next vote cycle, your super representative that you voted for will move up. So that updates every six hours now. So if you go look now, your votes won't take immediate effect. It will only take effect in the next six hours as an example. You can obviously also come here and view the live ranking. So this is, you know, the ranking as it is right now and the effect that it'll have in the next round. All right, so you can see I'm at 5,702. This hasn't updated yet. It takes about two, three minutes. And then once it updates, this number will change. All right, there I've done a refresh and you can see that it updated to 6,455. Okay, and that's how you vote and how you can get some TRX if you do not want to wait for your exchange to open. Thanks.